In this video, we'll be discussing flow rubrics. Um, this is a new feature that allows you as a teacher to create customized rubrics, to provide specific scoring data organized by criteria, and to deliver individualized student feedback all within one place. So the first step when it comes to flow rubrics is actually to create your rubric that you will then later apply to the content that your students produce and turn in. So to do that, you can go to the settings tab here once you're logged into flow and then click on grading rubrics. Go ahead and click on create new rubric in the top right corner. And initially you're gonna be prompted to enter two things here. You'll give your rubric a title and you'll select which of your assignment types within flow will utilize that rubric. So for writing, I'm gonna to toggle writing on here. Once you've done that, you're going to be asked to add what we call rubric groups. These are more aimed toward big picture skills that you want your students to be in compliance with. So for example, if I'm thinking about what some of my criteria groups might be for writing, maybe that would be interviewing. And then the second one is actually going to be writing. So these are basically the larger aspects that would contribute to a score for an overall written assignment. Now that I've got my broader criteria groups, I'm going to go ahead and add the specific criteria. So these are a bit more descriptive, and they're the specific skills that you want your students to be exhibiting. So if I'm thinking about what those criteria would be for my interviewing criteria group, those would be things like having comprehensive questions, maybe conducting background research, and turning in notes and a recording from that interview. You can also give each criteria a score, so maybe I want this one to be 5 points, 10 points, and 15 points. This number here is flexible. And now I'm going to repeat that process down below with my writing criteria group. So in this case, maybe my criteria would be spelling, fact checking, maybe accordance with AP style. And finally, let's do formatting. Again, you can assign different scores to each. Okay, so now that I've finished setting up my rubric, I'm going to click Save in the top right corner. When you do that, you'll get this notification at the top telling you that that rubric was updated successfully. And now let's look at how you can apply a rubric to an assignment that your students have created. So if I go to my flow dashboard, I have this story near the bottom here that's ready to be graded. So let's say Andrea has completed this assignment and it's time for me as a teacher to assign her a grade. So what you can do is scroll all the way to the bottom on this blue column on the left and click on this orange grade story button. When you do that, now you can click on this blue grade rubric button and you'll be prompted to select the grading rubric you want to use. So if you have a couple, they'll show up here. For now, I only have my writing rubric. All right, so now my rubric is gonna open up and I can enter the specific scores after reviewing Andrea's work. You'll see as you add in those scores, the group totals are summed up for you and you have a comprehensive assignment total at the bottom. You also have a space here to add any written feedback. So if I wanted to add any message to Andrea, I can do that here. And when you're done, you can go ahead and click save You'll notice that score is then pre-populated within the, this score field here, and I can click Close. 
finally, as a teacher, if I want to um, refer back to that rubric later on, I can do so by going to the grading tab here along the left. If I find Andrea, I can click on this. And here's that story. You'll notice for each assignment that a student has turned in, if you have completed a rubric, there will be a button to view it right here. And again, that'll open up that rubric so you can refer back to it later if you need to. So that is the process of creating rubrics in Flow and assigning them to content that your students submit. And as always, if you have any questions when it comes to that process, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at SNOW using the email support at snowsites.com.